Hey, how y'all guys doing today? So, I want to make something different, something fun, and something most definitely delicious. So, I'm going to take you through my process. Now, right now, what you're looking at is some chicken thighs that I've battered down with this big old sludge hammer right here. And after I battered them down to perfection, I added, uh, inside of this same cauldron right here, I had regular milk with flour, wait, regular milk, uh, salt, and some sugar. After it brined it, I, sent, I rinsed it off. After I rinsed it off, I added uh, starch, all-purpose flour, some ginger, a little bit of salt, a little bit of garlic. And now I'm about to get ready and go in here and get it seared up. Well, I'm about to deep fry. Want to be nice and careful, please. I'm going to turn some light on for you guys to see. So I'm about to get these in there. As I said, again, I'm going to repeat. I've already got some starch, all-purpose flour, a little bit of sugar, salt, uh, garlic. Because what I'm about to make to this, guys tonight is about to be really fun, really special. Get this in there, get that going. I'm looking for that golden, that golden color, and I'm gonna work to get it. So tonight I'm gonna be making coconut chicken. I got the chicken in there, grain. Now as that's going. That's going to be a continuation of the meal, that's a part of it, but right now i got to focus on other parts for the fun of the video, alright? So I'm going to take my pan over here, get it down the eye, and uh, you guys keep focusing on that beautiful chicken. It's going to get fried up, it's going to get beautifully golden, and while that's happening, I need to get my can open. got to get the can open, got to find the can opener, the chai shell. No can opener can have for me, I say. And there we go, I found it. That's it, can have from me. But I'm gonna get my tongs out of here. I'm gonna need those. I'm gonna get that in there. I'm gonna get my tomato open. Take my sauce specifically for some rice. Come right over here. Uh, like I said, I want that chicken to be golden brown, but I battered it just so it could be nice and even and smooth. Smoother than what it would have been if I would just talk to it as it was. So I got some Hunt's tomatoes, but I needed me some sauce so I can make my, my rice. Plug in. That is done. That's all I need is the sauce. I'm going to toss the skin. While that's still going, I'm going to go on. Add me another piece of chicken into here. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit. This is an electric stove. I like using the electric stove. I feel like with the times of inflation as it is, electric stoves are really where it's at. So, check my skillet. You can hear that heat coming off of it. That's me flicking a little bit of water. And I want to get my mixed veggie. Which, let's see, make sure we got exactly what I'm looking for right here. Go. And I'm going to step by step, so I'm going to let that keep on frying, but I'm going to show you how I do my Chinese. I always talk about my Chinese on my channel, and I've never took the time to just show you. Y'all got every right thing to just show how to do it and do it right. I get so excited when it comes to cooking, so, you know, share with me. So if you're in the guest here by now, what I'm making tonight, it's coconut chicken. So I'm gonna start off with my bases to make this fire old chicken. I'm gonna get what I need, which first off, I'm gonna start off and I wanna give me some onion in my pan. I'm gonna give me some onion going.
While that onion's going, I'm gonna add me some. That is some sesame oil. And a little bit, but not very much, of some salt. Now, some garlic powder. Now, get that turned about. While that's getting turned about, I want to get my pan coated with some of that oil. Lessons pans are burned. Last chance of something sticking. And I'm gonna keep on letting that onion get cut down. It smells great already, I promise. Now this chicken will not be moved about until I know for a fact it's ready. Now that smells really good. Now if y'all remember, I blended up some tomato, but it doesn't take a lot of tomato sauce by no means to make Chinese food. Up. Here. Now that's the tomato, right? Now, I'm going to take you to the faces with me. So I'm going to look, find it. There we go. Be careful when you're using this. This is how I put mine together. Now, this is some red crushed pepper. Only a little bit, not a lot. You don't want to burn nobody's senses. You don't want to make no pepper sauce by mistake. Now that we got the pepper salt added, see that fork right there. I'm gonna get my handy dandy big boy out. While that's going, I got me some vegetable right here. Be careful not to burn yourself, it'll suck. I'm gonna get this heat turned up to a higher level. Get these turned about, let them keep on tossing. As you can see, we got some sweet peas and carrots. Now you can cut it fresh or you can cut it enough from get it from the bag, either way. But I want that heat up. Don't be afraid to add no heat onto your mix, folks. For the sake of argument, I'm gonna add me a little bit more garlic. Keep getting this tossed about. And the reason why you want that heat up because you want basically the water to get wilted out from the heat. And we're gonna let that keep on doing this this, right? While that's going about, I love that smell. Smelling nice, I like it, I love it. Now I'm gonna go to a slightly higher heat. And while that's there, Add me some tomato sauce. Now this is a regular can of tomato sauce that I blended down and cut it was smooth. Separate. Add me some tomato sauce, right? Got my tomato right. Get that tomato added. Add me a little bit more olive oil. And I'm gonna add me some soy sauce. Now I've already added my sesame oil, I've added my soy sauce, I got my tomato. Now I'm about step by step. Look, this rice is really hot, be careful, don't burn yourself up. You're gonna get that rice on in there. Mmm, good. You stir about. I'm turning the heat down a little bit, as high as I want it to go. I'm gonna keep on adding until I feel comfortable with the color of the rice. Add some more. Break that up. Get that nice and broken up. Add another some of that rice. Yeah, that'll do it on the right side. 
I'm going to just turn it. And don't let me forget a little bit of salt. Now we have some salt. Not very much, I don't. I don't add a lot to this. But this is the pepper corn that I grinded into black pepper. And there's some smoke get on there. I'm searching for my gray towel, which I would think I would really find at this moment. For some reason, it really does elude me. There we go, found it. So this pan is getting super hot. So I'm gonna have to put the towel in my pan. And turn it out, turn it out. I'm gonna grind, 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 grind. Turn it out, keep grinding out. Take the rice from the bottom, bring it to the top, stir it about. Be careful it's not burning yourself. Now, I use a rice cooker because it really uses steam, even though I use a light amount of water. And I'm going to just keep on chopping about. And believe me, that high heat is going to get that smoke that you're looking for for your rice into it. You follow these steps. Listen, you follow Tyrone. He told you to work for real. And I'm just going to keep on stirring this about until I get that brown color all over all my rice individually. You don't stop. And while that chicken's getting going over there, I'm going to be making my sauce up for it soon. I'm going to show you how that's going to go. I'm going to keep on stirring. This is really hot, but I kept me some of my white rice for my coconut chicken. You keep stirring about until you get that consistent color you seek. Whew. A lot of work on my hands, folks. Don't, don't get lazy. That's why you got to do those wrist exercises, folks. I'm going to stir this about here. We're almost there with the color of the rice. Excuse me, cameraman. Give me a taste of spice. I'm going to add me a little, not very much, but a little bit of soy right here. Camera guy, come on. Got my soy. Get it blended about. Add me a little bit more tomato. Not very much about. And I'm going to get that color stirred about. So yeah, I get that consistent color I'm looking for. Like I said, I like a smoky taste to mine. Not too much smoky now. Got my towel right here. I'm just got to move so fast, folks. Stir. Stir. If you watch any of my videos or see anything I do for my Instagram, this is how I make my rice. And we're going to keep stirring it about so that all that color is mixed in. Now, that smoke is a part of it. You need that heat. So you want that pan and just get that sear to it. You keep stirring that rice, and that rice will absorb all you give it. Got a little bit of onion. Remove that onion. We're almost there. A couple white grains of rice almost changed over. And once we get this changed over, I'm going to start to focus on my sauce for my coconut chicken. This is how we look at folks. Looking beautiful right now. Give it a another toss about. Now how I toss mine is I always go from the I, camera guy, make sure you catch me now. I'll show folks. I always go from the bottom and flip to the top. Bottom, flip to the top. For one, you, you make sure each grain of rice is getting some heat and is getting touched by each of the ingredients to help with aid in this color change. And you know, the one thing to make sure we hit real on point. Get a small spoon and turn that off. While that's off, small spoon. Now me, I'm such a hard judge of character. No matter what I do, sometimes it's not good enough. But, my camera guy. 
flash sun. Keep that part in mind, folks. Okay, perfect. Now, now that that rice is done, that can be easy put to the side. Truthfully, I want to keep it warm. I want to keep it safe. I want to be very careful. Excuse me, camera gentlemen. Please come over this way. I need to open up the stove. I'm about to rest the rice on the inside, keep it fresh while I start to focus on the next step. Now that is how I make my Chinese food. While that's going in the stove, I'm going to put the rice back into the rice cooker. So I have a side of white rice. And now I'm about to get ready to start really focusing on this beautiful chicken over here. I'll show you how we get out. Excuse me, camera guys, please put your head. Don't want you to get bumped, that would suck. You pay camera rent to it. Box right, there, move it out the way. Okay. Gotta be careful. Grab the toes. And we're gonna check the chicken. Okay. I'm checking it as we speak. It's good, but I'm gonna go for a high level of golden. Very good. I'm trying to heat up on here to a higher. While it's going, I like to do a cleanup as you go, keep things nice. Never like to have a messy kitchen. That ain't how I get down. But while I have the opportunity to do so, I'm gonna add me another piece of chicken in the batter, which helps aid with the heat. There we go, it's in there. While it's cooking. Excuse me, kind of guy. You say here. I get some things done about. Turn that TV down. So I'm gonna bring this out here. So I want to make this uh soft, so I'm gonna show you folks to give you some idea. So you need coconut oil, lime juice, rice vinegar. Coconut oil and some sugar. Got okay, coconut milk as well. Got okay, coconut oil and coconut milk. That is the key thing of this meal here. Some garlic, not a lot. Regular sugar, not very heavily. I'm gonna take you to the paces on how to get this done. I'm going to turn my heat back on. Got turn my heat down just a notch. I'm going to be careful. Check it out, looking. So this side is looking that far. Right, so I'll show you folks. So I'm gonna bring it right over here.
I gotta be very careful because I don't want to spill any oil. I'm gonna show you how the chicken coming it out. I have a light, nice amount of chicken here and I gotta get it all cooked. But same token, I gotta get it transmuted in the coconut chicken. Now I'm getting the chicken in here. Now I have my, my stove on a seven so far. I'm putting the chicken now. So I'll show you how it's looking. Be careful, this can pop you and it would hurt. I don't want nobody to suffer that pain. Now that's the last piece of chicken I put in right there. But I'm just about to get ready to put some more in. So while that's going right there, I might grab some more chicken. And I know I'm going to probably turn it into something else besides the regular chicken. So I'm going to be cooking up chicken in here. I'm trying to like just have to get a fire and cook something up. That's a piece right there. Another piece there. Ooh, that oil got me a little bit, but I ain't gonna cry about it. Now, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna get my hand cleaned off the tags and show you how this should go. Excuse me, cameraman, please accompany me right here. Now thank you. Now this is some four pieces of chicken. I'm probably gonna add another. And I'm probably gonna have another pan to go over here and do another set. But starting out very simple. I'm gonna start off and we, as you see we have the chicken. I have my coconut oil. I'm gonna add some coconut oil into the bottom of my pan. And get it touched about, right? Now that's the coconut oil. Light smell. The next part, keeping it very simple for you guys. I'm gonna add some ginger. I'll get that spread about. That's ginger. After the ginger is added, I'm gonna add some of this coconut milk. Add some coconut milk, save some for the other kind. I'm opening up this lime juice here. Get some lime juice started in. I've added some lime juice. Shake it up. Add me two teaspoons. Where's my fork? So while that's going about, I'm about to add me some rice vinegar. As you can see, rice vinegar. Add me some garlic. Some more garlic. Add some sugar. And find my cap and get it cleaned out. Now I'm gonna tap it and I'm gonna let the heat do its job and that should thicken itself up. Turn this up some more. While that's going on, I'm gonna check this chicken. No rushing or any of it, just taking my time and being careful. So this got a last piece I grabbed, put in, being careful. Open this up and Put this piece right on up in here. Add a taste of more sugar to this. So I'll add one more piece of the chicken. 
And it's starting to get its bubble on it, and that's what we want. And right now, the heat does its job, softening the chicken all around. We'll get these turned about in a second. But now that I've had enough space, I'm going to add some chicken. Here. There we go. Let that heat do its job. Son, you stop my video. Oh. Oh. My bad. It didn't stop. No. Now I'm about to get this turned about. I've got to get my hand turned off. Now I'm about to get this turned about. Being very careful. Get these turned about. And I'm going to let the heat stay nice up until it reduces almost to like a syrup. 